Adrian Tutor with the shot from the left wing. I think you hit the nail on the head there, Todd, on extra man. You want to keep that ball off the water. That did look composed, however, just a bit of a rush shot there at the end. And Jamie Spence firing up the middle of the pool, getting that five meter. Can't swim over the attacker's back while he's attacking the goals. It's a fantastic opportunity for Westville to add another one to the scoreboard. Reese Hall stepping up to take the penalty. Obviously a big shooter in their side. Bounces at bottom right corner. Didn't look like missing. 2-0 to Westville boys are. Good steal from Durban High School. There's an opportunity on the top left. Young Adrian shoots or something hard. What can he do? He's looking, weighing up his options, looking for the second wave. Westville have one extra defender back at the moment. And there's been an exclusion. Extra man to DHS. Can, can they get on the scoreboard? Yeah, take their space. Move that ball. Looks like they've set up a 3-3 here to start off. Great shot from the back. Number seven, Manu Kokumu, the captain of Durban High School. Coach Steve Lamarck telling his boys for a full attack here to play the, play the full 30 seconds. Big shot from the halfway. Not really an option. Westfall will get one last attack in this first chucker. Both teams in this first quarter just seeming to rush their attacks. Need to slow it down make those, those better decisions. It's about five seconds left on the clock. Westfall have to do something quickly. However, the shot went after the buzzer. And that concludes the first chucker. A few more of the Clifton Prep first team water polo players entering the arena. Westfall going for the drop defense on the center forward. Good option. A little bit unlucky there. Just not quite getting the ball in hand. Big passes from one side of the pool to the other. Attacking that goal is nicely. Getting closer and closer. And he works the exclusion. Good work by cap number A, Blake Davidson. Getting a school extra man opportunity. Let's see what DHS can do here. Can they equalize? Like we said earlier, got to keep that ball drop. Move it around the top of the D. Nathan Jacob, not an easy goalkeeper to beat. Got to catch him off guard. Here we go. Here's an opportunity. And in the back of the net, number 10, Kirk Wilson. A reversal has been called. One of the Westfield players swimming underneath. The DHS defenders. There's a break on the right hand side of the pool. Lots of white water happening. Has he identified it? Let's see. Pass over to the right. The cross pass. Fantastic Great goal. cross pass. That's what I was saying. Move Nathan Jacob. Very, very good cross pass on the hand. Very good legs by the number seven, Manu Kokuma. Managing to get up, grab that ball out the air and pull it into that bottom corner. Bringing the score to three goals to two in their favor. Can Westville High uh, keep composed and get back in this, into this game? I'm sure they can. Find the big center forward. <laughs> There's a drive on the right hand side of the pool. Has True to seen it. Westville do have one extra defender back there. And there's been an exclusion. What can school do? They've gone for a 3-3 three, three setup immediately from the start of this extra man. And now moving across into the more traditional 4-2. Oh, Adrian Schutzer finding the back of the net. Great goal for Durban High School. Taking the score, uh, the score to four goals to two to DHS. Sneaky, very sneaky, Todd. If 
Found the big center forward. Bays another one. Resaw, I think that takes his tally to three, his hat trick. That's where you often see a bit of a dip in the fitness of certain teams. So let's see, stay tuned and let's see what unfolds a little bit later on in this game. Oh, for sure. Sure, and this long course is an absolute killer. Especially here at schoolboy level. Oh, DHS finding a cheeky little goal from the right hand side. The number 12, Jack Bowen. Teams have only 30 seconds to attack before the ball will be turned over in the opposition's favor. So you need to execute a shot within 30 seconds of your attack. Westfall up on the left hand side. Find the middle. And Scully gets one in the back of the net. Very flary goal there, catching it mid-air and turning it into that backflip. Coach Andrew Stewart is opting to give Nathan Jacobs a break and maybe building it a bit of a, a bit of experience for next year, Todd. Yeah, for sure. It's not uncommon to see a goalkeeper switch halfway. And Jamie Spence working very hard there, getting the penalty for his team. Let's see if they can level the scoreline. Looks like Jamie is going to step up to the plate and take this five meter penalty. You'll often see coaches opt not to give the guy who earned the, uh, the five meter the penalty after he's worked exceptionally hard. But coach Andrew Stewart has full faith in Jamie Spence. They're thundering up that left hand side of the pool. Reese Hall, not just strong, but also fast. And a visionary finds the man in the middle of the goal. Can it cross the line? A goal has been scored. The whole ball must cross the line in water polo, the front of the goals. So Durban High School on the attack. The, the lead has changed hands quickly in this third chucker. Six goals to five in Westville Boys High's favor. And the equalizer from Durban High School. Great goal. Back shot from Manu Kukumu, the Durban High School captain. Some of the best teams from around the country have joined us here at Clifton this year. It's excellent to see schools coming from down in the Cape, up in Johannesburg and Pretoria, even from the Eastern Cape. Oh, Westville getting the ball over the defender. Jamie Spence once again working hard. This time, no five meter. He finds the back of the net. Fantastic play by the center forward. Westville on the attack. Todd, I think this, the next goal in this game is going to be crucial. Oh, very good positioning there by Warwick Field. Just getting the ball, ducking under his defender, attacking that goal. It's vital to swim towards the goals. That's how he managed to get the five meter for his team and you can see Jamie Spence stepping up once again number 10 Jamie Spence finds the back of the net need to slow it down move the ball they have options they're creating a lot of space for themselves and Westville just earning off the ball kick out so extra chance to extend the lead and they do Warwick Field thunders one cross cage into the back of the net Big shot from the outside and a great save from number 13, Connor Clare. They move the ball from right to left, back to the right, making the keeper move from side to side. Big shot in the back of the net. What a cracker, Warwick Field. He turns him again, he's working hard. And a two-hand saved from the DHS goalkeeper. And yeah, coach Steve Lamarck not happy with that pass. <coughs> oh, very good movement there by the centre forward, keeping that ball away from the defenders. Oh, absolute cracker. The turn by Reese Hall, bouncing the ball in the bottom corner. Can see Westfall just running that shot clock down. 
There's nine seconds left of this game. DHS keeper with the ball, moves the ball. And the buzzer goes, and that brings us to the end of this match number one at the Clifton tournament. Westville Boys High taking the lead, taking the win, and they'll move to the top of Pool B. Final score, 11 goals to six in Westville Boys High's favour.